How's it going, y'all? All right, today we're trying something brand new to me. I've had katsu quite a few many times, but I never had katsu with cheese in it. This is called gold katsu and silver katsu. Man, I'm hoping this is not gonna be whack. It feels really crispy, and it it's looking kind of cheesy, kind of extra cheesy up in here. But I don't know. I just gotta say, it didn't look like this in the picture, so. That's, that always is a concern for me when the food doesn't look like what it was in the picture. But it smells great. Got my hands all dirty for this. We got some rice over here. We got some thinly chopped, what is this, cabbage maybe? Some sauce to go on the cabbage. Ginger, one of my favorite daikon radish. Really nice and refreshing. A little soup here, miso sort of broth. And we have the sauce to top off the katsu. This is, uh, I think it's pork katsu. And katsu in Japanese just means like explosion. In this case, it's like crispy. You explode it in the oil. And pork katsu, pork cutlet katsu, is like one of my favorite go-to katsus. There's also chicken katsu, fish katsu, which are really great. I've never had beef katsu before, so I don't really know what that's all about. Let's just go in for a quick bite here with the uh, silver katsu. I think this is gonna be mozzarella. Mm. Mm. <laughs> that is really good. There's just so much cheese that got out. Let me add it back a little bit. There we go. The mozzarella really takes this katsu experience to a whole nother level. I've never had cheese on my katsu, and especially not this much cheese. It's overflowing. Let's try this uh, amazingly cheesified one. Wow. The golden one definitely has more flavor. I think it's more of a cheddar. Cheddar always has more flavor, you know. That's pretty insane. Warm miso soup, very wholesome. Just pretty normal miso. Let's, let's try this out. Let's see what we're working with here. This is the really deep looking, thick looking gravy sauce that usually goes on katsu, so this is katsu sauce. But how's it going to do in this next level cheesy action? Oh, just slid right off. Mm. That is a really balanced taste. We got the tanginess from the katsu sauce. The tangy sweetness that cuts right through the fat, the crispiness, the savoriness of the pork, and the cheese. This is an amazing meal. First meal of the day for me. It's downright satisfying, let me tell you that. That is a uh, wake me up and a half. Doesn't get better than this in my opinion. The dressing is like a really refreshing sweet and sour. Thinly sliced is the way to go, for sure. Mm. That's one way to get my vegetables in. Let's load up some of this rice with that sauce. Saucy rice, that's what we're talking about.
Yes, sir. <laughs> that is damn good. I always stuck to the original stuff, like uh, just a normal katsu, you know? No cheese, nothing fancy. But definitely try out some of this new stuff, you know, you never know. I F with the ginger, especially the sushi style ginger. It's really good for your throat too, like if you have, if your throat's not feeling well or if you have a cold or a flu. I remember one time, I was about to come down with the flu. I felt an infection in my throat. I was at a sushi restaurant and I had some of this. It just seemingly went away. That's definitely sounding like pseudoscience. But it's what happened. I'm just trying to share with you guys. It's probably not causal. It's probably like my, my body naturally defended against the cold. But I have a feeling that the ginger really helped and uh, at least helped my throat feel better. If it did nothing else. Just going for a dip. The pork is very tender. It just melts in your mouth. I'm always a little wary of getting the pork cutlet at a place I've never gotten the pork cutlet at. Because you never know if the pork is going to be tough. That's why I stick with chicken cutlet. Whenever I visit a new cutlet joint. But this place I have, I have full trust. That they do their pork well. And that they really do. It's crazy. That pork is like as soft as some dark meat chicken. Go in with it. Mm. Get some of that rice ready. I'm a mess. Tell you what, this fully satisfied my hunger. I feel rejuvenated by this meal. Incredible. And I feel like I could just make it myself. I'll get the cheaper, normal katsu version and then I can melt some cheddar cheese, mozzarella cheese on it. I feel like it'll be roughly about the same. But what's... <coughs> but what I can't make at home is that very tender pork. I don't know how they do it. Damn, I made a whole mess. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Peace.